Hey guys, it's Alina here, and today I have another first impressions video for you. Today's video is on the new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. So before we get started, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love first impressions videos and you want me to do more of them, because I'd be happy to do that. And let's just go ahead and get started. So, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette is a part of their Spring 2016 collection, and it's a circular eyeshadow palette. The palette is $34, and it's available on the Tarte website and on Sephora's website. The box looks like this. It's a much smaller box than some of their other circular palettes, including the contour palette, the showstopper palette, all of that which is also why I think we saw a decrease in price to make it a little more affordable. The palette looks like this. It's super, super pretty and is very on theme with the whole like rainforest of the sea theme that they're going with. So when you open up the palette, the mirror spans the entire palette. It is a snap closure. So the palette looks like this. These are all the colors. So lots of neutral tones. What you will notice is that most of the circular palettes are full face palettes, so they'll have like a blush and all that, along with eyeshadows. This is clearly just an eyeshadow palette, which is why we see a decrease in price. So from looking at the shades, the majority of the shades are shimmer shadows, and it appears that two of them are matte shades, but because of the texturing that they put on the eyeshadows, they kind of are misleading. They look like they might be shimmer shades, but I'm pretty sure they are matte shades. The palette does come with a step-by-step -step guide for a variety of looks. So I know you guys are just dying to see the colors, so let's get to swatching. Alright, so I am all swatched up, so let me get closer and show you all these colors. Alright, so here are all the eight shades together. They were all swatched with one swipe of color, and there's no primer on my arm. I started with the color seashell, and then I just worked my way around clock wise. So here's the first color. This color is called Seashell. It's a pink shimmery shade. The second color is called Wave. It is a shimmery slate, so like a grayish brown. The third color is called Abyss. It is a shimmery dark brown. The fourth color is called Reef, and it is a shimmery copper shade. The fifth color is called Starfish, and it is a shimmery bronze shade. The sixth color is called Cove, and it is a matte brown shade. The seventh color is called Sand, and it is a matte ivory. And the last and final color, the eighth color, is called Mermaid, and it is a shimmery gold shade. So once again, these are all the colors together. Very pretty, very neutral. All right, so my final thoughts on this palette are that the shades are very, very pigmented for the most part. The price point is good. It's $34 for, for eight eyeshadows. That's pretty okay. The packaging is adorable. It's great. My biggest concern for this palette, and I won't really know until I, I dive really into it, is the fact that a lot of the shades are very, very similar in tone, so I'm not sure if you can get a very dimensional look with it. I'm not sure if it's going to be a standalone palette. I have to play with it a little more. So for right now, I cannot say whether or not I would recommend to purchase this palette. It is limited edition and, you know, the shades are really nice. But if you're looking for something that is a standalone palette, I don't think I can recommend this one. But if you want some nice, really like coppery shades, some fun, you know, shimmery neutrals. Tarte does amazing shimmery neutrals. I would say that this might be worth checking out. Once again, this palette is $34 and it's available on the Sephora website, the Tarte website. I'll leave links down below if you're interested in purchasing it. So I wanna know your thoughts. Did you love it? Did you get it? Is it on your wish list? Please let me know in the comments because I'm definitely curious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya.